name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Let us prepare Amen. ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand with your Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. During the time young Samuel was a minister to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision, vision infrequent. One day, Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown weak that he could not, could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished, and Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the mm -hmm. ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said, you called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not yet revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, here I am, you called me. And Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, go to sleep. And if you're called, reply, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. <clears throat> when Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed, in his, revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all of Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, came to know that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks Our responsorial psalm. Hear my Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I have waited, waited for the Lord. He stooped toward me and heard my cry. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry or to those who stray after falsehood. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. And I said, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is on within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, no. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. <coughs> On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was guarded at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, uh, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. 
Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here, my Lord, I come to do your will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This is our responsorial psalm for today. And what a beautiful thing it would be. What a privilege it would be. What a blessing it would be if we would repeat that, not only here at the responsorial psalm, but throughout our lives. Here, my Lord, I come to do your will, because that is what our life is all about. We are simply a, a, a response. Opportunities we have are but responses to the initiation of God, God who loves us and who, who wants to be in union with us. So as way back as at the time of Samuel, God was interacting with his people always calling for people to join in coming to speak his mind and coming to speak his will to the people of God. Samuel is called and three times he is called. I think there is a significance to the fact that he was called three times. And I'm not sure if I or you would have responded each time. If one call I had responded, and I did not find that it was, I did not see the source of the calling, most probably that would have been the end of it. And so the first reading teaches us about the fact that we should never find one occasion to be enough. Another lesson to be learned is that God talks to us, God calls us, God initiates is relationship with us. Second, third thing to learn from it is that there is the importance of spiritual guidance, spiritual direction. I'm just wondering what would have happened if Eli wasn't there to third time say, now I can imagine, now I think I know why you are being called and I think I know who is calling you. Just as Samuel initially thought that it was Eli who was calling him, Samuel finally now knows because he has been directed, he has been guided. And so he responds, here, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And because of his attentiveness, because of his ready to walk with God, because of his readiness to journey with the Lord, Samuel is given the grace to grow up and the grace for the Lord to be with him for the grace that the Lord will not permit any word of his to be without effect. Beloved, you and I are also being called. And we are being called by a God who is caring, a God who brings salvation, a God who is interested in lifting us out of our horrible situations, out of our challenges and out of our confusions. That God is the one who reveals himself to us in the gospel reading, where Jesus Christ goes to the house of Simon and his mother-in-law is sick with fever and Jesus kills her. And we are told that many more people come to Jesus and they are all cured. That's the mission that he calls us to join him in continuing. Because, you know, we are the hands of Jesus we are the feet of Jesus. We are the lips of Jesus. We are the heart of Jesus. We are the minds of Jesus. And what it is that he has started, he wishes for us to follow. And so just as he is calling Samuel this morning in the first reading, with the support of Eli to understand that he is the one who is calling, we are also being called. Called in various ways. Not necessarily when we are asleep in a dream, because even at the time of Samuel, we are told that dreams and visions were not common things. God still calls us. He calls us when someone, someone in the church 
someone in our neighborhood comes to seek our help, comes to seek our support. God is calling us when we are challenged by, to, to wake up to our responsibility, our responsibility as members of the church, our responsibility as wives, our responsibility as citizens of the land, our responsibility as teachers of CCD, our responsibility as people who have so many <coughs> options before us and yet we are invited to do something beautiful for God. For if we quiet ourselves and we reflect, we would hear in our hearts, we will hear in our, the voices of our hearts, the Lord calling us to do something beautiful. How do you feel when you do something nasty to somebody? I think that usually you, 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 are, not, you are not at peace unless you are so used to it. Usually, when, when, when something doesn't go on right with someone, you don't feel so good. But how do you feel when you are able to offer a hand of support to someone, especially when you discover that this hand of support has benefited the person? This is exactly what the Lord is calling us to do. And so we pray in this Mass for the grace to be attentive to his calling, because his calling comes in a variety of ways. To be attentive to the people in our lives that we look up to, like in the case of Samuel Eli, to help us to know what it is that the Lord wants us to do. Let us be attentive to the voice of God, that we may follow him, and follow him with the purpose of helping to make the world a better place, a much better place than we came to find it. And if you are wondering what it is that you are called upon to do, just look around you. Let's just look around us. There is so much to do, beginning from right immediately where we live. And so we pray. For the church, may God's perfect truth shine within her and guide her in carrying out his saving work. We pray to the Lord. For all who govern or, legis or legislate in our world, may the Spirit help them to know and follow God's laws above all other laws. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are in need of healing, may God grant wholeness of mind, body, and soul. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the homebound of this com faith community, may the Lord relieve them of any loneliness and offer the, his consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died in the hope of Christ, may they be raised to eternal joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Elise Nicholas, for Grace Morrison, and for all who have asked for our prayers. For these two, that the Lord will grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our hearts, for peace in Russia, in Ukraine, for peace in Palestine and in the Holy Land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we have offered, and we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, you are, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of His name. Amen. Let us pray. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray. 
that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. In Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, in Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and soul. With all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending thy your spirit upon them like a few fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. You Let us share the peace with one another. Lamb of God, you 
Beloved, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. How so blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray.
Attend to the place of your people with heavenly care. O Lord, we pray. Humbly we ask you, almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. St. Michael, Amen. the Archangel, Amen. defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, also thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O God, of the Word incarnate, despite not our petition, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of the Lord, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. You too, Father.